And if you want zero downtime, there is only one option, and that's Golden Gate with a data pump initial load. As of Golden Gate version 12.3, there is support for the autonomous databases. And for those of you that are not familiar with Golden Gate, let me quickly recap. With Golden Gate, you start with an initial load using data pump. Golden Gate will then capture the statements on the source database and put them into a trail file, which is sent to the autonomous database where Golden Gate replays those statements. If you're migrating your database into one of the cloud services or the autonomous databases, we have an offer for you. You can use Golden Gate at no extra cost with no license for Golden Gate. You only pay for the compute infrastructure that you need to run the OCI marketplace image. Please be aware that there are some terms that apply and you have to use the OCI marketplace image. Now this offer is available only until end of 2020, but for those images that are already provisioned, you have the offer until March, 2021. For your reference, I have included a certification matrix which shows which database versions and platforms that are certified to use with the Golden Gate version that you can get from the OCI marketplace. If your database version or platform is not listed, you probably have to use another version of Golden Gate, but then the, then the offer doesn't apply anymore and you have to pay a license for Golden Gate. But if your database and platform is listed here and it's certified with Golden Gate 19.1, then you can use the Golden Gate image for free. And let me quickly show you how easy it is to provision a Golden Gate installation using the marketplace. You go to the marketplace and search for Golden Gate. Select the Oracle Golden Gate for Oracle image. Then you choose your region and sign in to OCI. Next, you have to specify into which compartment you want to launch the stack. I just use the default name and I have to specify into which network that I want to put the compute instance. I choose an availability domain. And finally, I have to input my SSH public key so I can connect to the compute node. You can review the decision and create it. The Golden Gate image is now provisioning. And after a little while, the image should become available and we can have a look at the details. Now I take the public IP address and then I connect as OPC using SSH. I can then look in the OGG credentials JSON file to find a password for the admin user. Then I simply open a browser and connect to the public IP address and put in my credentials. Now I'm connected to Golden Gate and that's all I have to do to get my very own running edition of Oracle Golden Gate. It's so simple.